Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So today's video is a little bit of a spur of the moment video that I've kind of just thought I'm going to quickly film it. So I'm going to be showing you everything that my newborn or my three month old daughter got for Christmas. So I was actually just wrapping up my Christmas vlog and I was actually going to show everything that she got here when i say everything there isn't a lot um it's more practical bits and pieces that she had so um i'll talk through everything that she's actually got but i thought this would be like a really helpful video because i personally struggled on what to get her um so my daughter is three months her name is penelope we call her penny for short um she's actually my third baby but there's quite a big age gap between penny and my now middle child ollie who is now six um he was six in september so although she's my third obviously there's such a big age gap and i'm buying for like a nine-year-old a six-year-old and then now a baby so i kind of was like oh my goodness and in the past with my other two they have ended up with so much um and at the end of the day they're babies they don't even know what, what is going on so this time with her being my third i thought that's not happening we're gonna be really practical on what she needs. So yeah, I thought I would show you everything that she got from um, myself, my husband, and our family. So I really hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave in the comments um, if you, you've had a baby, what they've had, if it's anything different, because obviously lots of people might be watching and they can get ideas from the comments. So please help everyone out in the comments. And if you're not already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, but let's jump straight into the video. Okay, first up you can probably see here right next to me. This is something that myself and uh, Tom got for Penny. So I actually was gonna get her a high chair um, because she doesn't have one yet and I've had my eye on the Stocker Trip Trap one. Um, and I wanted it with the newborn seat and I've been um in and on and obviously she's three months old now so she's probably only going to get another couple of months out of that seat so I still haven't bought a high chair um, I still don't know what one I'm going to get so if you've got any recommendations on high chairs please let me know in the comments because that is still something I would like to get for her um, we're not really in any rush for it but I just yeah I still really want to get her a high chair but that aside, I wanted to get her um, some kind of like little seat. Now my son did have this or similar to this when he was little and he loved it. She actually has the Baby Bjorn um, Bouncer, which is perfect. She's actually asleep right there in it now, um, which I love. But obviously she doesn't have the activity bar on it. So I was toying with, do I get that to go on it as well? But I saw this. Um, it's from Mamas and Papas and it's the Snug. So this isn't the one that um, you can strap to the chair. This is actually just the Snug. And this you can use from three months. Um, and I think it goes right up to like 18 months because you can actually take the insert out when they get a bit bigger and they don't need this. This is so soft, um, really, really soft. This is like a new colorway. So it's kind of like an aubergine sort of color. I love it because it's kind of like not bright. I think the one that Ollie had was like bright blue or green or something. It was still lovely, but I just wanted something a bit more muted. And actually now, um, I mean, with Ollie's, he did have the tray, but he didn't have the activity set with it because that was something that you had to purchase separately way back when he had his, but you get this now. So I actually got this on sale for £44, it had 20% off. Um, I just quickly checked before I took my camera on, it is still in the sale. So I'll link what I can below, some bits I'm not able to link because I got from store and they don't have an online store but everything that I can I will link in the description bar so check that out if you want to um if you want the link for anything but yeah I just love it it's got so much for her to do um and she loves it already uh, I'll see if I can pop some footage in because there was some I think from my vlog of her sat in it so yeah that was her kind of like bigger gift from myself and Tom and what we have done also is we've put some money aside for a high chair when I decide what um, what she's getting. So everything else that I'm about to show you is not just from us, um, it is from family also. She has also, um, I've set her up a bank account and she's also had money put in there from family members. So when she's older, when it comes to summertime and she needs some bits and pieces for the garden because I have nothing for like her age now, I got rid of everything, um, we can purchase. So I thought rather than get her lots of stuff for now, she can have some money set aside. Um, obviously we don't have to spend it, we can save it as well. So yeah, um, let's jump straight in. I think I'm gonna show you the 
more toy bits first and then I've got a pile of clothes here that I want to just talk through as well. So next up, this was from her um, auntie, so my sister. It's the, is this? Yeah, Fisher Price Sloth. These come in like a family. Obviously you have to buy each one separately, but I just loved the sloth. I know they do a zebra, which is super cute. And he's very interactive, sings and dances. His belly lights up and she absolutely loves him. So I do highly recommend these. As I said, they have got different uh, other animals. Um, and if you have more than one, I think they all interact with each other, which is super cute. Um, she also got, if I can find it, because it's not actually in the box, but I know it's here because I lifted it up. Oh, there. So I also, I did keep this from my son. It's the so Sophie the Teether Draft, but the one that my son had is so like faded and worn, so I thought I'll get her her own because um, all of my children have had one. So uh, her auntie also got her this. So oh, just how cute is it? You can't not have a Sophie. I just love it. Um, and then she also got, so this was from myself and Tom, this is actually from Primark, I've taken the tag off but I did link it in one of my hauls, I want to say it was about five or six pounds but it's just an activity cube, really cute, it's got like really pretty um, Minnie and Mickey on, it obviously makes sounds, it's got different crinkly bits in it, as you can see it's just like a nice sensory cube and it's really soft and it's got a mirror, she is obsessed with mirrors, so that was from myself and Tom. I might forget actually who's bought what here, so just bear with me. Um, this is also from us, again, this is from Primark. I've taken the label off, but I wanna say this was eight pound. All of the bits from Primark that I've got has actually been made using recycled bottles, or no, made using recycled plastic, which I love. So this is kind of like a stacking, um, like a stacking cone, but it's really soft, and again, it's got all the sensory sounds in it. She has a plastic one that I kept from my son, but I just wanted to get her something soft, obviously, because she is only three months at the moment, and obviously she can just grab and feel the different textures of that. Um, I also got her this, is it a unicorn? It's Tilly Clip Clop, oh no, it's not. It's Tilly Twinkle Wings. Um, I think it's meant to be a unicorn with the horn there. So it's the Lamaz brand. Um, I, again, I've got an octopus that I kept for my son, but I just wanted to get her something of her own. It's got obviously different sounds on it. It's also got, um, this one doesn't have the, yes it does, I'm lying. So it's got the hook there, because I know the octopus doesn't have that, um, but this is obviously a lot smaller than the octopus that you can get. But with this brand, they do so many different things you can choose. I actually got this off of Amazon, so I'll, um, I'll go through my orders of everything that I've got from there and I'll link it below. Okay, so next up, I also picked these up again from Amazon. I'd seen these, I can't remember whose Instagram it was, but again, it's like a little teether toy. Um, it's completely rubber or silicone, so you can actually, like, obviously sanitise it really easy. Uh, it looks like a little mushroom, but the idea is that you flip the head up like this, and then you pop their hand around it, and then you push it back down, and then they can just obviously keep it in their hand and do whatever they do with it. So it came in a pack of two, and I think it was about £7 something. So again, I'll go through my orders and link it below. But yeah, they... I just thought that was a really brilliant idea. So she's also got those. Um, this was from my parents. This is from Aldi. I'll see if it is available online for me to link, but if not, you might have to just check your store. I haven't actually seen this, so I didn't know they were getting her this, but it's so sweet. So it's Dylan the Dino, and it actually is like a sleep aid. So it has um, different sounds that you can have. It's got a calming lullaby, comforting heartbeat, soothing white noise, and you can obviously put it on high, medium, or low. And it also the belly lights up pink, so it's very similar to her sleep cloud that we got from Snuzzpod um, that is with her actual crib. So if you don't have anything yet, this is like a great alternative. And it's actually a bit louder than her cloud, so I am gonna pop this on her crib as well. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know how much it was. I'll see if I can link it below, but it was from Aldi. Um, next up, this again is from myself and Tom. So this is from Mamas and Papas. I got it in the cell. It was eight pounds. Um, and it's kind of like a pram travel bar toy. Um, but she doesn't actually have a bar for her pram. So I'm going to try and need to try and pop it on her car seat in some way. Um, but yeah, it's just super cute. It's got like the little rag doll and I love the floral pattern on that so we picked her up that and then this is from her nanny this is from Primark I don't know how much it was I've never seen this actually but it's just like a rattle um it's really really cute and also it's got a little bell in there and little crinkly signs in there for um 
you know, like her stimulation and her sensory sort of noises, that sort of thing. So yeah, that's really cute. You can't have her have too many things like this, I feel like. I'm glad now I got her that bigger toy um, box. If you didn't see one of my Vlogmases, I got it from HomeSense. So yeah, I'm really glad I picked that up now. Um, this is from, again, her auntie and her uncle. It's just like, again, a sensory. It's got the like edges for teething. It's got crinkly different sounds in, just really, really cute. And that is by Newbie. Um, I'm not sure where they got this. I'll see if I can find a link for it below. This is from, again, her auntie. This I know she got off of Amazon. It's really, really cute. Again, I didn't know she was getting this. So it's a babe baby teether and rattle set um it's available well you can use it it's suitable for newborn it comes in this really handy um tub as well and it's literally filled i think i counted it's got like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten different items in there so it's like filled with different rattles um that one's got like two ends on that you can hold the bar in the middle just such this would make such a perfect gift so yeah that is really lovely i think this was about 20 pounds she said but i do think it's worth it for what you get in the box so again i will link that below and then this is off for myself and tom i wanted to get her something to go in the bath because we've actually recently just got her the angel care soft bath seat so um she doesn't fit in her actual baby bath anymore so this is to go in the, the big bath and i wanted to get her something that she can play with and see so again this is a sensory toy and it's actually just like a little mini well um it's got led lights in so when it hits the water it just changes color um and out of the top it sprays water just out of the little nozzle there but how cute is that this was about 16 pound i think but the reviews were really good on it so yeah i wanted to get her that um and then this is from her nanny again it's a vtech baby my first gift set so it's just full of lots of different um toys for her very musical toys we just turn a few of them on and her little eyes lit up so she's gonna absolutely love that um and i do have a couple of bits like this that i kept from ollie um my son but this is just obviously a bit more girly so i'm sure they probably do this um in a boy version and a neutral version because i think ollie's was more like yellowy um but obviously she's just got her own little bits and pieces there um i also picked her up it's still got wrapping paper on but it's again from v tech baby it's a singing bear um, and it can actually clip on like a pram or a cot because it's got a little loop. I actually got this from HomeSense, I think, but I've seen these on Amazon as well. Um, she's got another one. I think this was from her nanny. Uh, it says it attaches to a cot, but it's just the bare version. So obviously they're kind of like a pair that she's got there. Um, she's also just got another set of bath toys. These are just little squirters that she can use when she gets a little bit bigger. They were from her auntie. She's got a little teether, a rattle and a teether, sorry, in one. I think this was from Morrison's um, Nutmeg. Yeah, that's Morrison's. Super cute. And then I picked her up from Primark um, a beaker for when she starts weaning. Obviously, that's not yet, but I just loved their... When I went down um, recently, just before Christmas, their baby selection was amazing. It's so much bigger than it ever used to be. So, yeah, just picked up this beaker. I'm not... Oh, £3.50 this was, so not too bad at all. Really, really reasonable. And then, talking of weaning, can I find it? Um, my parents, her nan and her grandpa, picked her up a dinner set with cutlery. So again, it's for when she starts weaning. I think this was about £6. My mum's actually taken the price off, so I don't know exactly. Um, but I think it was about £6. And then I also saw this um, when I was queuing for the till. They have like little baskets dotted around. And I saw this, so I thought it would be perfect. It's only a pound. So it's just like a sensory ball with little spikes. It's completely soft. It's all rubber. And it lights up. So I showed her this this morning and her eyes were kind of like just drawn to it and going everywhere. So yeah, I just picked her up that as well. Um, and I think that's it toy-wise. So I'm going to move on to clothes. So what I asked people is if they were going to buy clothes, if they could buy three to six onwards because like, she doesn't have anything in those sizes she's currently still in naught to three even though she's three months old she was born um small so she's on obviously the smaller side um so yeah we've got things that are like from three to six upwards to take 
her into that sizing. So first up, this is something I picked her up from Primark. It's just another pram suit, but I actually got this in six to nine because in my opinion, this runs extremely small. This is more three to six. It doesn't have any feet. It's from the Stacey Solomon line and it just says smile. I won't go into too much detail because I did link this in one of my hauls, but I think this was 14 pounds um, there or thereabouts. I also picked her up this cute little hoodie. It says happy on it, again from the Stacey Solomon line. This was three to six, but again, in my opinion, that is quite small. Um, so yeah, I don't, I mean, Pen is not big for her size, but I think she will probably be able to put wear this now. Um, my sister, so my sister actually got her this little tracks or jogging suit set from Zara. So it's just a cute little jumper or sweatshirt. I love this color and then the little joggers to match. That's in three to six, um, so she will have to grow into that, but that's fine, because obviously we're still gonna be in the colder months here, so this is kind of like the perfect little outfit for her, and super comfortable for her to wear as well. Um, I picked this up recently, actually, when I went into Primark. It was six pounds, so I might get this. This is in three to six, but I might get it in six to nine, because I feel like this would be lovely going into spring, so it's kind of like a little jumpsuit. So it's got the poppers down to the waist, where there's like a little elastic cinch, um, and then poppers all over the bottom, so perfect for, obviously, those nappy changes. And then this I picked up from Asda. This is in three to six, but I find the George stuff is quite generous size-wise, so she isn't gonna fit into this for a while, but um, it's kind of like a knitted, like a fine knit material with the stars, um, and it is like a sleep suit or like a, it's got feet basically. Buttons all the way down the side, and this was 10 pounds. I just love these neutral colors. Obviously she can put one of her headbands on because she has got a very lovely collection of headbands. Um, this is three to six months from Tesco. This is from her auntie and her uncle. It's just like a lovely wrap over cardigan. Um, don't know, they took the price off, but I know Tesco is really, really reasonable for their clothing. So yeah, it's just a lovely color pink. She doesn't really have anything in this color actually. So that'll go nicely in her wardrobe. And then they also got her this two piece set. So it's, um, like a knitted romper and then a little matching bonnet to go with it. Super cute. So again, that's in three to six months. And then I actually got this from Mamas and Papas. This was in the sale. I think this was eight pounds, or link it below, but I got it in six to nine months. It is beautiful, absolutely stunning. Um, so it obviously poppers down and then it has the poppers all the way around to the bottom. It's open feet, so obviously it's for when she's a bit bigger, but the des look at the design on that. How pretty are those flowers? And it's like a really, really pale pink. Um, this outfit is from Primark. This is in three to six, so it's just uh, leggings, so they're ribbed, and the jumper with a little bare face on. Super cute. And then I've got a two pack of zip sleep suits for her in three to six, because like I said, I'm building that collection up because she doesn't have anything. So anything from Primark, unfortunately, I can't link because they don't have a website. So this one is just, it's like a waffle material with the zip. And then this has um, the little bare face on. It's got the feet in as well. So that was a two pack. And then this I picked up from Next. I mean, it was stunning. How much? It was £12, which is a little bit pricey for one sleep suit, um, but I just fell in love with it. It's got the little collar and then it's stitched little roses all the way down. Um, and I, honestly, you cannot fault neck sleep suits. They're my favorite. If I had to choose, they wash amazing, they last so well, they never shrink. And I feel like size-wise, they're really generous, um, but not too generous that you can't get anywhere. Because right? obviously if it's too big, it just hangs on them. But I just feel like she gets so much use out of her next ones. Um, and it's got a little bow on the feet. And I think the feet are just a pale pink. So this is my favorite. So this was from myself and Tom. Um, and then she got this little outfit from Tesco from her nanny, super cute, so just ribbed leggings and a little jumper. And then she got, I'm going to have to swap this unfortunately because it's not to 3 but this is from Morrison's and they're not too generous, so I'm going to try and get 3 to 6 in this, hopefully they've still got it, but it's kind of like a gift set. So it comes with the baby grow vest, hat, mitts and a bib, super cute. And then finally, um, this was from my mum and dad, so her nan and grandpa. It's like a little mini backpack. Obviously, she won't be able to use this yet. Um, it's from the Stacey Solomon line. How cute is that? So it's from Primark. I don't know how much it was my mum's taken the price off, 
but I know it would have been super cheap. So it's just like this with the rainbow. And then look how colourful the straps are. I just love it. So cute. And here she is. If you could just hear her um, chomping in the background. She was just eating on her hand because her dummy fell out. So this is little Penny. If you've not seen any of my other videos before. It was her first Christmas. So she's got a really cute bib on at the moment. Saying my first Christmas. And she's got a little bow on. And just a really cute outfit. <laughs> so yeah, I really hope you find this video useful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And like I said, please share any recommendations in the comments below. Especially if you've got any recommendations for high chairs. If you've got the stocker trip trap, would you recommend it? Because I'm really, really tempted to get that for her. Because I know it can grow with her. It won't just obviously not be any good when she's like toddling around and not wanting to sit in it. Because it actually looks more like a chair. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really tempted to order it. So let me know in the comments. And like I said, if you're not already, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. There's lots more to come next year. Oh, you're tired, are you? You've just woken up. <laughs> um, but we'll see you in our next video. Bye everyone. said some awful words and i know that we both got hurt but i want to be with you i want to be with you we can't let this slip away